Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Imperis of Rome. Let's play as the Republic of Rome, of course. And, uh, what well, we're gonna have to be calling this one maybe the, the rebuilding episode, perhaps, because, uh, well, we don't have very much manpower. We're gonna have a lot of money, of course, but very, not very much manpower as of right now, so, uh, we'll see how we're gonna, we're gonna make things play out today. Man, uh, manpower, of course, it just, it really just needs to recover. I mean, of course, we could hire mercs and, and use them if we really want to. Uh, I mean, sure, maybe, perhaps. But something I think I'm going to end up doing is probably going to head over to, um, to build some buildings, actually. Get some, uh, some training camps. Now, of course, I will have absolutely no idea, um, where it would be good to build a training camp, because, so, I wish I had some sort of tooltip that would tell me that. But... Of course, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, all we really need to do is look around for things that we have a lot of tribesmen and a lot of, uh, I think it's freemen. Yeah, so freemen and tribesmen. Freemen are really the, the one that gives the most, so plus five for each, uh, for each tribesman, I suppose, and plus 79 for the eight that we have here, so I guess it's plus 10-ish for, uh, for each freeman. So, what we can do is we can check, uh, using our population map, where we have the most uh, most free men, so we can actually this looks pretty good. Free men over here, so we can grab a a, a barracks. No, we cannot because we don't have enough buildings. We need to have more people for more buildings. Okay, uh, let's take a look for more free men in various locations over here. Perhaps we could grab another training camp. I mean, sure. I mean, why not? I mean, it's mostly just just free men in the first place, and all they do is provide manpower. So we might as well. Over here, we can check. We have a good number of free men, but I'd, uh, I'd prefer to have ourselves, like, some commerce value or some research points for that. And, of course, in the next update, everything's going to be changed here, so... Um, I don't know how long this actual thing is going to... This whole um, setup that we have here, playing as Rome, I don't know how much longer that's really going to last. Um, when 1.1 comes out, we're definitely going to have to, perhaps, swap over to the new version and try out what's uh, going on there, because all of our buildings will be changed, pretty much all of our planning will be changed, so uh, we're going to see how that goes, but uh, I suppose for now we could just take a look around, see what we can grab here. Oh, we have free men. They're upset, but that is f uh, that's not that fine, actually. We'll build the training camp and then see if we can, we can make them a little bit happy. Um, there's Sibelian and... Okay, so, so Sibelian is in the same group. It's not Roman culture, but it's in the same group, which is kind of alright. And the religion is all uh, Hellenic, so I guess the best thing we can do is just assimilate, so... So I'll just hit a couple of these buttons and they'll be a little bit happier. I mean, other than that, why are they upset, really? Uh, let me do a check. So they're pretty much upset because... Tyranny and... Well, they only have a base happiness of of 25%, so... Right, that's uh, that's not a whole lot, really. Why do you have a base of... Is it really just a base of 25%? Is it really that? Hmm... Okay, let me check over here. Do you guys have a base of 25? You do, okay. Interesting. So in this area, if we could have a trade route, we'd like to make our, um... I guess we should try to make our, our, our freemen happier. If that were possible, that'd be great. Uh, other than that, I suppose it's just the long waiting game for now. Things may get a little bit, a little bit slow here while we wait for our manpower to, uh... to get itself back up. It's going to require a little bit more than what I've done here when it comes to uh, our training camps. We might want to get a, a couple more training camps, honestly. That wouldn't be terrible. Because we do need more men, so I mean, we may as well take another look around. Oh, there we go, 11 free men, and we can build one right there. Boom, another training camp. Over here. Is that anything with a whole bunch of free men in it? Oh, there you go, right here. Well, they already have one, and not enough men there for an actual uh, different... Everything to put there? Nope, not there either. Um, not there. I don't know why here, actually. Why not? Oh, the problem is that I own. Of course, I don't own that. Understood. Right over here, a lot of free men, so sure, why not? And then I guess we'll just sort of wait a little while, because why not? We need a little bit more money before we can continue. And uh, other than that, I mean, we're looking okay. Maybe a better player would have gotten a little bit more done here. Perhaps uh, colonization could have been could have happened over here. But each of these areas need at least ten um, ten citizens. So this is going to take a little while, but it'll get there. And if I could have a trade route over here, 
I would definitely send in like fish or, or livestock or grain or something, but that's it's alright, I suppose. Hmm, okay, so our loyalty could be got for I mean our researcher could become more loyal, and our friend of the governor of Ciselpine Gaul. That's a mouthful there. He's a friend of the governor of Ciselpine Gaul, okay. Interesting, so we could lose 20 loyalty from both of them, and our console could gain popularity. Hey, that's an idea. Or we could just say this. Keep them relatively equal in that regard. Uh, now, ooh, diplomatic range. Interesting. We could go with, uh, like, wrong culture group happiness, which we don't have much of, but perhaps we should check the cultures, actually, which would be this button. So, this is all the Latin group. This is all the non-Latin group. We could make these guys over here happier. They're pretty happy, though. I mean, I mean, your happiness is 100% because citizens are just generally pretty happy. It's 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 hard to make citizens unhappy, I'd say. Mm, I feel like the happiness values were different than I remember them as. So, um, hmm. Okay. So if we had like wrong culture group happiness increase, that'd be pretty okay here because this is all part of the um. This is the Hellenistic culture group. I think that's what that is. Over here we have the uh, the Latin culture groups. Over here um, we have the Gal uh, Gaelic, not not Gallic. What well, is it, Gaelic? It's not, there's no e there. I guess it is Gallic, isn't it? Because Gaelic is like G A E L, kind of. So this would be Gallic, I suppose, because it's Gaul over here. Over here we have uh, Germanic, because this is Germania. Over here we have uh, I guess it would be Britannic or oh, Britanni. Okay, my bad. Yes, Britanni. This is. Um, I guess the British, I mean, it kind of extends, like the British Isles refer to Ireland as well, I believe, so. Uh, and you just sort of moved, and Ireland, of course, remains uncolonized for a while. Um, I, I kind of want to, I'm interested, like, are they going to change this area very much? Like, are they going to add new provinces, perhaps? Um, I'd like to see that, because, or, or new, um, new tribes, maybe, even. Because it seems really empty here. Like, it seems like you could put a lot in Ireland here, and they just sort of left it empty. I don't know how that fits in the context of, of history. But it seems a little bit empty to me. I don't know. It also seems like colonization would be an absolute pain to actually get done here. It's all just tribesmen, of course. Um, so yes, yeah, very interesting. And then over here we have the other cultures, like the uh, Celts Iberian. Okay. The Pre-Indo-European. That is a mouthful. Interesting. Um, so much I don't know here. So Iberian. Then down here would be the Carthaginian, which spread a little bit. Oh, no, that's not Carthaginian. This is Hellenistic. Is that because of the Phoenicians over here? Well, Phoenicians are part of the Levantine. So, how did Hellenistic get over here? Who owns what over here? And how did that get... Uh, maybe it's by event. You know what? It's probably by event. Something like that. And over here we have the Iberian culture. Um, seems like it's been a little bit cut down here. And then, of course, we have um, the Marian. Yeah, okay. So, Phoenician and Carthaginian are part of the same group, of course. Because that makes sense. Phoenician... Uh, I guess Phoenicia? Or, yeah, I guess I guess it's Phoenicia. Sort of came over here. Um, colonized over here. When this sort of split in two, we were left with... Uh, well, when the Empire collapsed, we were left with Carthage, which um, started, to do it, started to do its own little thing over here. So anyway, I don't know if that was a little bit of a history lesson, just to make things a little bit more interesting or what, but and we just need to figure something out here. Anyways, so uh, about that, we were just getting our own little um, invention here, really, is what we were going to do. So, uh, I mean, galley slaves. I, I remember watching a movie about um, people who uh, were galley slaves. We could go with national citizen output. Okay. That might be good, actually, because citizens create technology. That sounds like it would be really nice, actually. So we'd get more technology, wouldn't we? I believe we would. Okay, and then over here, uh, we need to change our mar uh, martial advances. And this guy, he is, I guess the best we have is a six martial, and he seems pretty alright. So plus six from so plus sixty from this guy. He's um he's actually great. This guy is he's ten in that. This guy is a ten in that, and this guy is a seven in that. Ah, very very nice. Okay, very nice. I think that'll do fine for us. We need to wait for our tyranny to tick down quite a bit as well. I mean, kind of helps us with the national slave output. It gives us a little bit more tax, which is nice. Nothing else really to do here. Um, I guess we just sort of wait a little while. And then we declare war on Sparta when we're able to, and take down the rest of Macedonia. Um, that's how the theory goes, at least. Oh, and Syracuse would like military access, sure. And of course, there's always the, uh, the fact that I need to finish what I'm doing down here. But we do have free claims on Macedonia, like all of the Greece area, which would be... 
No, not the provinces. I want regions. There we go. So regions here. Yeah, all of Greece and Macedon. Or Macedonia, my bad. I believe um, we have claims on, if I am not mistaken. What about this area? Acersos? Uh, maybe we just Greece. I think it is just Greece, actually. These areas? Okay, these are areas, actually, not just individual provinces. So if we look at our areas... Macedon... Okay, we do have a claim on Macedonia. We have a claim on... Chalkidiki, I believe. We do. Okay, so everything that Macedon owns, we actually have claims on, interestingly enough. So then, um, I guess we just sort of chill here. We chill, I guess Macedon, uh, Macedon will be a little bit weakened by the time we're fighting them. Hopefully, at least. Uh, they are fighting pretty much random tribes, though. Are they fighting Thrace? No, okay. You are fighting... Egypt, though. Okay, and Egypt is a major power, I believe, right now. Uh, yes, they are right there. Apparently, I'm an even more major power than, than Phrygia. Um, I, I guess, maybe. We don't have nearly as many pops, which is, like, where your real production comes from, so I'm kind of willing to debate that. Of course, we could invade uh, Carthage if we really felt like it, but uh, maybe not. It's also the north of Italy that we need to get done. Okay, lots of things to do here. Lots of things to do. I mean, oh, they just finished their war. So war with Egypt, Kos, and uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but, you know, three different nations. Egypt, uh, I feel like they were different here. I don't know, I guess it just, like, shows the the wasteland as uh, as part of the country, I suppose. Military tradition, we can grab a new one. That sounds very nice to do. So we could grab heavy infantry offense. Like, I, I like going down the heavy infantry route, because it's just, it's really nice. It's just really nice. And then we get the Roman roads. Oh, we can make roads with our with our militaries. Everyone wants to move faster. It's so much better. It's so good. Um, manpower recovery speed, of course. Light infantry offense. So many good things down here. Of course, there's siege ability over here as well. And siege engineers, very nice. Uh, contract border fort. The Castra, that's uh, something I think Caesar used twice. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but it was very interesting if you ever watched a documentary on that. Anyways, logistics of the state, we could grab uh, archers, heavy infantry stuff. I like playing around the heavy infantry. Like, we have disgusting bonuses to heavy infantry. Um, but I think I'm just going to push them even further by going down this route. Like, it just, it just becomes absolutely disgusting at a certain point. Um, which is why I like having the extra heavy infantry in all of our stacks here. It's just nice to have, um, with the nice bonuses that they do have. I feel like Sparta and Rome won't be too massive of an issue. I don't think they'll be terrible. Uh, you do have 48 cohorts, and a decent amount of money, and they're making very little, but man, they're still making money. Our maintenance is disgusting. Then again, um, I mean, ours isn't that bad because it's on the, the lowest level right now, but... Alrighty then, 10,000 men. Is that enough to hop into a random thing and just go to town? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, discipline would be nice. National commerce, not quite. Wrong culture happiness. That would be good, actually. That should give us a pretty much empire-wide bonus for anyone that's not, um... When that's not Roman. Or, I don't know if that's just Roman or, like, Latin in general. Uh, I kind of want to check, but, oh well. We could sacrifice to the gods, this will give us another stability, and then hit this button, which would be pretty pretty fantastic, actually. There we go, three stability. Very, very nice. Um, that should give us tons of stuff, wouldn't it? More national tax, more more pretty much everything. Extra 10% national tax, I think that already applied. Um, that should also give us... I mean, in theory, if we have higher stability, that should get rid of tyranny more. Just like as a concept, I think. I should get rid of tyranny. Aggressive expansion. Um, that yeah, doesn't really come into effect from stability, but I mean, you know what? We get research points, national tax, and uh, ruler popularity gain, so I think I'm quite satisfied with that. Keep trying to hit right click instead of, instead of middle click, and I don't know why. But we have tons of money. We could. Um, oh, sure, I don't really mind. 
I think we're going to go ahead and try to make more military camps if we can. Just to get a little bit more manpower flowing back into things, that would be this map mode. We go around looking for areas with more freemen. I won't actually own that. Uh, oh yeah, there's pretty much no one back in uh, left in Pompeii. A little bit unfortunate. Hello, we're looking for freemen. Any, any more freemen over here? Oh, they were right here. Uh, we can build one building. Okay, that, that kind of works for me. And they are relatively happy. So they're working at um 62% output. Mm, it's not it's not great, but it's something you know. I think it would work better if we um stick to provinces that are mm, not just Latin but like Roman, you know. I think that would make things a little bit better, a little bit easier for us all. Um, let's go with. God, we have a lot of citizens, don't we? Okay. Um, we already built one there. Oh, oh, over here. Oh, nope, nope, we can't. Darn it. Okay. I mean, we couldn't, in theory, get rid of the marketplace. That wouldn't be bad, though, would it? That would be okay. I think that'd be fine. Um, we won't. Mm, I'm really, I'm actually considering that, because the free men just give so much more. That just sounds so much better, because. Like, the 10% you're getting from here is not very much. Um, so I think it's better if we do that. Anywhere over here. I don't know why I'm clicking on things individually instead of just checking things. Uh, I own things over here. Not here. So let's do a little bit of a check. Um, -doo -doo -doo. I'm not really seeing much, honestly. Free men here, perhaps? Oh, there's already a building here, maybe? You know what? Yeah, let's go with this one. Over here it wouldn't be terrible. Over here, now nah, we can't build it because we're out of money. Okay, that's fine. Out of money means we're getting things done. And unused trade capital. Okay, yeah, we still don't, we still don't have much to do here. That's the thing. Okay, we got a very, very gracious gift. And uh, I think, did our leader just die? No, our religious advances guy did. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll choose this guy. I think that guy was also a, um, a seven skill, so I don't think it'll make much of a difference. And as for our capital... Like, the happiness for the Freeman, it doesn't... Does it really matter? I mean, I guess it could be nice. Um, we could get more money or we could get more... Well, we can't get more tech, though, can we? We get more commerce, although the commerce isn't very much in the first place. I don't know how you get a whole bunch of commerce, because commerce isn't, like... It isn't that much. Like, 0 0.33, and we have 29 citizens. I'm assuming that's, like, plus... 0.1 per, uh, 0 .01 per citizen, actually. Which is not very much. Uh, huh, okay. Local population growth and local slave happiness. Well, the slaves are pretty happy, that's fine. And I, I guess we could just go with... Tax and commerce would be okay here. And as for the uh, entire province itself, we can really just grab wine. Which gives local freeman happiness, and local freeman happiness is like... Now, you know what, we made as well. We might as well. I mean, if we're just gonna cost us a little bit of money, it'll be fine. Make them just that wee little bit happier. It uh, gives... They can actually go over in output, so I may as well, honestly. But we are now gaining 533 month, uh, which is a yeah, pretty good pretty good surplus. I'd say we're, we're doing pretty okay there. Our aggressive expansion is going down. Our tyranny is going down. Um, tyranny is like one of the big ones that so we should probably try to get down as much as possible. Oh, we could lose stability. We don't really want to do that. So we could get money and uh, owe them a favor. Well, the money sounds good. The favor doesn't. But we can grab more training camps. So I guess we're heading up this thing again. Uh, over here. Blue, five, five, one... Uh, that was uh, five, anyways. Uh, three, four, three, eight. There we go. Uh, two, eight again. Nice. Seven. That's. Oh, we already have some in there. It'd be kind of a waste to keep putting them in there. That'd be okay. Um, this one would be okay, but we can't actually do it because we're out of money. Okay, that's fine. So we're just spending a whole bunch of money getting uh, the proper infrastructure for manpower back. And then using that, hopefully we can get a whole bunch out of uh, Macedon when we conquer them. And our religious advances have advanced. Very nice. Our console, uh, I guess, three. And then bonus power of uh, 
I win power plus 2.5%. Not bad at all. What is our current Owen right now? Was it uh, was it manpower or was it tax? Must have been money because I think at the time I was a little bit... Yeah, okay. So until next year, well not next year, in about half a year-ish sort of, uh, we will be able to change that over to the manpower one because we are doing absolutely okay on the money. We're going to want to swap to manpower and then hopefully we can set a war with Macedon here and uh, I think we'll be okay. The stability is minus one so they're going to have a couple of issues themselves or their selves I suppose. Populous faction is uh, increasing in influence, loyalty gain chance is bad, research points not very good, primary culture happiness not very good, national unrest is increased, so I guess stability is a lot more severe in this game than it is in uh, than it is in EU4. Like the bonuses you get, they aren't fantastic, right? But just sort of, you're, you're not paying for the bonuses as much as you're paying to, to keep your stability, I guess, is really all I can think of it as. And we're going to be taking a hell of a lot of Macedon here, so we're going to need to be prepared for what we're doing here. Um, I kind of want to absorb, oh, obviously I want to connect up and then absorb all the way to the, I guess the, the, this is the east, yeah, this is the east, so all the way down here, and then to the east, and then sort of leave them, maybe a little bit of an area down here, it depends on how much we can take. If we could take a whole bunch, that'd be fantastic. If we can't, oh well, it's fine. Um, Navy maintenance or discipline? Oh, discipline would be nice. Technology speed would also be great, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's go with Discipline, actually. Because when we go to war, it is going to be bloody. And uh, that Discipline is going to help us out just a little bit more. Like, on top of having a lot of cohorts, having the efficiency of cohorts is also nice. Um, I don't know if we have, like, some sort of ledger. I don't think we do. Uh, sure, let's be friends. Um, do we have a ledger of any sort? Toggle Outliner, Show Menu... That's this thing, yeah, okay. So I can hit tab to get rid of that? Cool, I wish that didn't make a sound effect, but that's totally fine, I guess. Also, can we... Can we show more things? I guess not. There isn't so much that we can show on here, huh? Okay. Well then, um, what was I saying? I was saying something about... Oh yes, we don't have a ledger, however, we do have everything we need to see with our, um... Where's our military? That would be here. Show the stats. Okay, so... These guys take more morale damage, but their attrition weight's decreased. The Principes... Attrition is uh, increased, but their morale damage taken is decreased. And the Discipline is absolutely disgusting. The Infantry Offense is very nice to have. And the Discipline on top of that is very nice to have as well. Um, it's kind of... It's kind of broken, the uh, Principes that I have. The Principes, maybe? I guess it's just Principes. Not really sure. But very nice to have. Um, I think we're going to wait until we're up to 25,000 before we declare this war. Uh, I think the number of cohorts we have should be enough. We have 41 compared to their 39. We have more men, and we have better infrastructure for replacing them. So I'm assuming we'll be fine. Oh, we have a bellicose stance. I didn't even know that was a real thing. Um, Trader has disappeared. Oh, well, okay. Let's go figure something else out. We can grab some different wine from you. That's totally okay. But yes, the main goal is, of course, going to be Sparta. And what we can take from Macedon uh, will be secondary, I suppose. Now, declaring war on Sparta, it's not going to be the most easy thing in the world. Um, I'm pretty sure Sparta gets some nice bonuses. Morale of armies, of course, is pretty nice to have. Um, see, I, I don't think I can really check your military bonuses, can I? And I really, really wish I could. Really wish I could. But I guess there's not really much I can do about that, huh? Well, let's do a time check. Uh, I'm going to pause the game for that just so I don't miss anything. Time check, we're currently sitting at 24 minutes. Not bad at all. We are going to, uh, I guess, just declare the war soon enough. Uh, maybe do what we can. And then hop back out. Whenever possible. So we're going to... Well, you're chilling there. Can I get you over here? If we can, we will. That's great. Uh, we should get you another cohort, but instead of being archers, I think I'm actually going to give you... Oh, I can't give you another Principe, or Principe because I need to build that in here. Yes, it's very specific now. Kind of forgot about that. So we're going to build one in there. And we're going to, uh, I guess, bring you over here so you can go pick them up, move them around. Oh, a new omen. Yes, okay. We're going to go with the national manpower, of course. Very nice. 
the money should be able to sustain itself for quite a while. But that manpower is, is, is pretty rich now, 602 a month. It's looking pretty nice. I think we can also stock how much the... Uh... Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so they're getting about 358 a month, which is um, just over half of, we're, of what we're getting, which is good. So if we can get rid of all their manpower, which isn't as much as mine in the first place, try to do that the EU4 way, my bad, and do it this way. But as I was saying, if we can um, sort of get rid of their manpower in that way, that would work out very nicely for me. Because they can't, they can't make it back nearly as fast as I can. Plus we have all our, our like our vassal swarm to protect our island, which is nice. Or not our island, but our our continental holdings, maybe is that what it would be called? I'm not really sure. Cancel the generosity. Okay, so everyone's cancelled the military access, they no longer eat uh, no longer need it. Which is fine. Sure, we'll give it to you. I don't really care. You guys are gonna head over to there. We're gonna probably change up some generals, honestly, because uh, you guys probably gained a little bit of loyalty. Over the last little while. There is a small chance of loyalty every now and then. Uh, but you guys are doing fine. And you guys are doing pretty okay. You guys are quite loyal uh, to Manius. Curi Dentatus. Which is fine. Because he's not leading your army. So we're not going to have the, co the, the whole cohort loyal to him. Which is good. So I think we're all going to have ramming tactics on, on these guys. Uh, actually, we're not going to need all of these ships, are we? Mastodon, you guys have 10 ships, and Sparta has none. Okay. Okay, that's fine, then. We can just bring, maybe, one division over? Or one, uh, I guess, legion? I guess that's what they're called, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to send one legion over. In fact, you can probably stay back, not going to lie. When we're ready to declare the war, of course, which will be... I mean, now's, a, now's as good a time as any, isn't it? So, speed three. Uh, declare the war. Take Achaia, I guess, is uh, this stuff over here. Declare the war. Alright, Mastodon will become the enemy war leader. Um, God, I hope that's okay. Does that become an issue? Like, if I declare war on here, and they become the war leader, do they get to call in... The Seleucid Empire? Ugh, they better not. That, that wouldn't make sense, would it? That wouldn't be... We're gonna do it. You know what? Okay, we're gonna see what happens. And if bad stuff happens, like, way out of control kind of bad stuff, that's kind of okay. Alright, that's that's fine. I'm gonna bring all of our maintenances back to normal, of course. Uh, I should've done that beforehand. I feel a little bit dumb, but that's okay. Yes, we're gonna send you over there. Okay, just, just Sparta, Macedon, and Euboea. Because feudatories and tribal vassals. I guess we're not at war with you, though. I guess. We're not, right? No, okay. That's fine, then. Alright, uh, I guess we should begin, then. Head into there. We maybe should have waited for our guys to get the morale back. That would have been a smart thing to do, of course. But I wonder if I ever done something smart. Psh, never, so... We're just gonna wing it, I guess. For lack of literally anything better. We're gonna start over here. I, I suppose that would be a nice place to begin. That capital, this capital. Nice to grab, of course. We're gonna send you off into here. Ooh, okay. Where is Fundi? I think I've... I feel like I've, I've heard that name before. Okay, over here. Well, you don't really need a fort, do you? Yeah, no, you don't. Okay, that's fine then. Like, sure, it'd be okay to have one. But do you need one? Not really. So, over here, we're going to, uh, I guess, slowly move things around here. We could detach siege, send them over here. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. How does that work? It just sort of does, I guess. I should be able to get rid of this little stack here before... I, are they going to there? They're going to, uh... Here, actually. Okay. We can head over here like this. 
Oh, that was a swift destruction. Okay, yeah, they got a leader on that one too. Well, I'll occupy it, but I shouldn't have left him behind. He's going to head all the way back into here, because that kind of makes sense, actually. And I forgot I own this. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, I definitely, definitely forgot I own that. Can I not walk over here? Why not? Oh, maybe is it because of the fort? It's got to be. Yeah, there's definitely a connection there, so it's got to be because of the fort. Okay. Let's head in here, occupy that. Everyone's doing what they should be, right? The, uh, the tactics are supposed to be bottleneck? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's head into Sparta. Uh, do they have a... I suppose they would have a fort in Sparta, right? They probably do. And this would be great. This would be a fantastic opportunity right there. Oh, and we do have some of our vassals coming in to help things out, which is nice. Very good. And now, do you have a, a fort? No, I suppose not. Or not a, not a fort, but a... Um, uh, I was going to say, like... A dock or a port. There you go. I was gonna say a port, but not really because it's not on the not on the edge. Um, anyways, Megalopolis. That's actually a very interesting name. But anyways, Battle of Megalopolis. Um, Three hundred and seventy-three of our troops died while we lost. Well, they we killed six thousand. Oh my dear lord, that is not a number that uh, that should be witnessed by mortal eyes. That's kind of disgusting, actually. Now we could go with maintenance things. We could go with and commerce isn't super important. Tribesman happiness? Technology? Oh, let's go with technology speech. Duh, of course. More technology is great. Legion 3, well, you guys are retreating right now, so you don't really need a leader. Whoa. That's not very good. It's not the end of the world, is it? Oh, and a new ruler. Oh, he's part of the populist faction. God damn. Yikes. Okay, so powers are going to be a bit of an issue. I also need a new Marshal Advantages guy. Okay, let's grab this one. He's cool. Okay, 61 years old, so we're not really going to be able to get rid of him. Hmm, I don't like this, but okay. I believe we should be able to hold off the Macedonians. Um, only time will be able to tell if that is the case. Oh, wow, okay, that was actually really easy. So we lost 2,000 troops and we killed just under 4,000. That's good, at least. Oh, you guys are going even further now. Okay, gotcha. Well, we're going to leave you here, then. You guys should be able to get Sparta done. I, this is, they don't really have a port, but, like, they have the ocean. Does that, does that count? I don't think that counts. Right? Like, I don't think that counts, but I'm not really sure what's right at this point anymore, so... We should probably, like, check it out, maybe. No, it doesn't really make a difference. But we are looting here, so that's good. Sure, we'll just grab that loot. So you guys are definitely going to have to make your way back here. Which is kind of, kind of a far walk. Um, Alright, we can't actually make our way across here because... I, the fort, I guess, maybe? Um, that's okay, because we can sort of send them back over. Send them all the way back, that should be okay. Legion 3 is going to head over to here. Once they're on the ship, actually. Just give them a minute, and there you go. We're going to send you over here, and we're going to do a time check, actually, because I think we're reaching around that time. We started the war, but we're sort of, uh, kind of sitting at 33 minutes, so I hope you guys had a great time this time. We're going to um, sort of head back and finish off Sparta, hopefully Macedonia in, um, or Macedon, in the next episode. Maybe two episodes, not really sure, but uh, hopefully you guys had a fantastic time here. This is Corporate signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.